Today I fucked up I broke a bone and wound up preg. I was wrong. My ex BF, best friend and I have a weird relationship. We still bang and hang out a lot. He knows I am still in love with him yet doesn't pursue me. It's a complicated situation where I have a kid from a dead ex and he wants to raise his own kids, not someone else's. We are almost at the two-year mark of our friendship, not relationship. So I was over at his house last week and we had a couple drinks. Kid was babysat as he doesn't want her there which is good since we drank. Well I got a bit too drunk and decided to break my foot on a wall. I went to the doctor and the standard questions began. Obviously I needed an x-ray so they asked if I could be pregnant. I said probably not since my period isn't due for five days and they proceeded with a test. Even though I informed them I was on birth control. Fun story birth control sucks. Lo and behold I am pregnant. So not only is my foot broken after the doctor looked at it but now I am also prego. So yeah. Oh fun story he also is absolutely against having a kid with me and will demand I have an abortion. Which I don't even know what I want at this point so I haven't told him. I had to exclude a lot of details because we both like Reddit and both happened to be at the same job. TLDR. I broke a bone at an ex's house and found out I was pregnant. WTF this dude is not your best friend. He doesn't even want to see your kid and makes you send it away while interacting with him. The fact that you think some guy wanting you for literally just sex as some form of friendship is just sad. He clearly doesn't want a relationship with you and he clearly doesn't want to have any part of your life involved in your friendship, not relationship, besides the sex. He's just a hookup, not a friend. You need to get some actual friends. And can we just laugh for a sec about op saying she left out specifics because they are both on Reddit. I have a kid from a dead ex. My current ex doesn't want to raise her. We just screw. I broke my foot while drinking with him and we work together. A blind person would recognize themselves. Today I fucked up by saying something horrible about my child. I found out when I was young that I can't have any kids. I slept around a lot when I was younger. One of them was a girl I slept with around 10 years ago until I found out not only she is married but she also has a child. I broke up with her as soon as I found out. About a year ago she contacted me and told me I have a child. I reminded her that I can't have any kids but she insisted that the kid has to be mine and kept calling until I agreed to a DNA test just to get rid of her. Turned out that she was cheating on her husband again and he found out, took DNA tests from both kids and found out that the younger one isn't his. I took the test and she is mine. I can't explain how happy I was to know that I have a daughter and how sad I was to know that I missed everything. Her first steps, her first word, everything. He started to act like a jerk and gave her an ultimatum. He would stay with her for their child but he didn't want her a fair child. I saw my daughter begging her mom to let her stay and it broke my heart. I got into a fight with him and asked him to have some FC King sympathy for a child that he raised but he didn't change his mind so I took my daughter with me. Kiddo has been living with me for a year now. The first few months were hard but then things got better however before I take her I decided to know more about her. I asked her mom and her teachers about her and they all told me that she is perfect. She is quiet, polite and smart but that is not how she acted with me. I kept thinking what am I doing wrong? Why is the girl that everyone describes as an angel behaving this way? But I couldn't find out. It was about a month ago that IFC kept up. It was a very bad day generally. First kiddo couldn't wake up to go to school because she slept around 4 a.m. I was so mad at her she knows she is not allowed to stay up so late. I took her to school and went to work where I had a very bad day and then at the end of the day I received a call from her school asking me to pick her up because she has been suspended for two days for bullying a boy. I know the boy. He was no victim. He has been saying racist things to my little girl since day one but still what she had done to him was terrible and wrong. I had to take the rest of the day off and get her. When I got her I found out that she also got a D in her exam. She never got anything other than a when she was with her mom and when I got angry about it she told me to go FCK myself. I was fuming. And it wasn't the end of it. We had another fight that night because she refused to clean her bedroom and another one after that because she wouldn't eat her food because she doesn't like salad. And another one Bexus it was her turn to wash the dishes. That's her only chore. She has to wash the dishes once a week. I was so tired and if it wasn't enough I got a call from my best friend and co-worker to let me know that I screwed up at work by going early and my boss is mad at me. I was so angry I couldn't help venting. I didn't mean a word of what I said but I couldn't help saying it. 
I told him taking kiddo in was the worst mistake of my life and if only I could send her back to her mom. I turn around and she is standing right behind me with her eyes full of tears. I apologized 1000 times but she was crying so much I don't think she heard me. That's when everything changed. She started to do everything I told her to do. She got A's in all her exams. She was polite and quiet and I hated it. She didn't tell me about her day anymore. She didn't laugh or talk to me much. I put her eye therapy. I kept trying to talk to her and cheer her up and get her to behave like she used to until one day she started crying and said, What do you want from me? I'm a good girl now, I hate myself. I miss her. I miss her waking me up in the morning in my days off when she knows I like to sleep more but she wakes me up anyway just to be annoying. I miss her stealing my fries because apparently, she loves fries more than I do. I miss her watching horror movies when I told her she is not allowed to and then coming to my room at night because she thinks Annabelle is coming after her and she wants me to hug her. I miss her telling me she loves me every day. I asked her teacher how she is doing at school and she told me she has been perfect lately and that was when it hit me, she was never perfect when she was with her mom, she was depressed. My family hates me and none of them wants to talk to me anymore. My sister is coming to stay with us for a week to cheer her up. I tell her I love her every day and apologize but it doesn't work. IFC ked up and I don't know how to fix it. Too long did not read. I said something horrible about my daughter in a moment of anger and she heard me. I ruined everything. Therapy, but not for her, for you both. Together, in the same room, at the same time. This is a big huge situation you have both been thrown into and it's not going to be easy for either of you. In the meantime you throw every ounce of your being into supporting and loving her, even if you never get a drop of it back. Her being a good girl is her trying to show you she cares about your opinion. And that might just have to be enough. Dig deep. Be the adult in this and take all of the pain on yourself. This little girl needs you to be the rock in her completely upturned life. Today I fucked up by lying about me being colorblind 9 years ago. Hello Reddit, I'm 16M. When I was little I had friends in school, who are friends to me in the current day. I told them as a lie that I was red and blue, which doesn't even exist to my knowledge. Colorblind because for some reason I wanted to be unique or some of the sort. This snowballed into my friends telling other people about this and for 9 years I've been called colorblind I wanna admit that I'm lying but I'm afraid of the consequences that might happen. Worst part of this entire lie is my friends are planning on buying me colorblind glasses. I don't know what to do or how to admit this lie with the most minimum damage I can do to not lose friends or just something minimal I want to try and minimize the possibilities of big issues with any method. Help. Too long did not read. I lied about being colorblind for 9 years and my friends believed me and are going to buy me colorblind glasses I don't know how to admit my lie. Edit. I did I told them the truth via text in our group chat I am just waiting for a response it's 12 am where I live currently also. To the people who were like you wanted to be special and so, I did that because I was basically nobody and no one liked me so I tried to do something to stand out. For the people who made jokes about me hitting my head and seeing colors again thank you for the laughs. For the people who gave me actual advice thank you from the bottom of my heart for your kindness. Edit 2. They responded and their reply was great. As you guys they laughed about it and it wasn't a big deal it feels like a 100 ton weight was just lifted of my chest thank you all for the encouraging words. I am sorry. But from now on you will be a wearer of glasses and if you're lucky it will filter out the opposite colors so you will actually be colorblind with the glasses and do not have to lie anymore thumbs up light skin tone. You say, guys, look, I appreciate you wanting to do this amazing thing for me. But I gotta level with you. I'm not colorblind. Never have been. What started out as an innocent white lie has just never been repealed. It's never mattered, but now I cannot in good conscience let you spend money to directly ameliorate a condition which I don't have. That ought to cover it. End the lie. Blow their minds. Longest running practical joke ever. You've spent half your life preparing for this reveal. Please tell them before they buy the glasses, they are well expensive. Today I fucked up my mom died and no one told me. So, I have no contact with my family. Over the years, they stabbed me four times, threw me down a flight of stairs at three years old, and otherwise abused me in such horrific ways that I have a burn scar on my pecker and can't have kids. I later got into Princeton, and mom lied to them, costing me a scholarship to grad school and a 13-year battle to get them to give me my degree. Just some tip of the iceberg context. 
Anyway, yesterday, I decided to check Dad's Facebook page, and after scrolling a bit, I only saw him in photos alone for the last several years. The most recent image of her I could find on Facebook was from way back in 2014. It then it hit me. Mom died, likely several years ago, and all of my hundreds of relatives and family friends apparently agreed to hide it from me. She hated me the most, so it was likely her idea, but it's still pretty fckd up, since in 2002 I saved her life. It did cause me to reflect and realize that I live a pretty socially and emotionally isolated life, but at least I have my cat and my motorcycle. TLDR. Mom died, and the whole family agreed to keep it a secret. Might be better suited to, R, off my chest since there is literally nothing you've done here to cause a problem. Reframe the situation. You've outlived a treacherous enemy and have evaded her clan. Now. But at least I have my vat and my motorcycle. What's in that vat? Is it a fancy vat? Fuck em. Nothing of value seems to have been lost. How is this a TIFU? You literally did not do anything. Unless mom was the one exception to the family being an ASD hole, you went no contact. Count yourself lucky you avoided whatever drama this caused. Hey dad, seems mum's dead. Any other good news? Too harsh or not harsh enough?